Hello, boys and girls. Um, starting today, April 28th, uh, in your Google form, I have created a section that called, is called Independent Reading. I want you to read or listen to the first two chapters of the novel Peak. Peak is a sixth grade novel that we normally do in the spring. Um, if you know someone in Restituto or Savage's class, Mrs. Savage, they are on chapter 12. They began the book about two weeks ago. Mr. Rossica began the book last week and gave his students the option of reading Peak or The Hobbit, depending on what class you were in of his. In our case, what I would like to do is I'm going to give you the Peak Challenge. So for this week and for specifically today, you're going to read two chapters. And you're going to begin by watching the book trailer. Then you'll be clicking on the link. You'll be listening to the first two chapters and then can pause the audio. You can also follow along in your peak book. I'll show that to you in a minute. And then you're going to let me know based on the first two chapters, are you interested in the novel or not interested or still not decided? And that's how I'm going to find out what are your thoughts about this particular novel. It's very challenging um, to conduct a book study when you're not in front of me. So I want to get some feedback before we make a decision if we're going to read the novel or make it optional. When you're looking at the peak novel study, Mrs. Devlin has provided you with the audio of the entire novel and a breakdown of the chapters that you should read each week in order to finish by June 3rd. At the bottom of the slide, there are um, videos for you to watch about where the story takes place. Without giving away the, the storyline, Peak is about a young boy who likes to climb skyscrapers, very dangerous, and he made some very poor choices that landed him in prison, in jail. He was arrested. In the first chapter or two, you're going to find out all about it. Spoiler alert. Then, to get out of this trouble, you're, you're going to find out that his father comes and takes him out of the country. And they go to Nepal, and specifically to Mount Everest. In the book trailer, they'll show you a really good um, example of where the story is going to take place. So the majority of the story is climbing a mountain. That's why the cover looks all white. And these are what they're using to scale the size of these large mountains. If you didn't know, Mount Everest is the highest mountain on earth. And it's a very big challenge to climb. Most people have it on their bucket list, and in May, there's a specific set of time where you can actually get to the top and back without the weather interfering. When you go to chapter one, it's called the assignment. The audio is here for you, and it's chapters one to three. By Friday, you need to have all three chapters completed. If you don't want to listen to the audio, you can read independently. Read to your cat, read to your dog, read to your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad. You can Zoom, you can FaceTime a friend, and you can read it to them or you can read it together with someone. By the time you get to chapter three on Friday, I'm going to ask you, what did you think of the book so far? Before we get to chapter four. And on Monday of next week, I'm going to have you take some time and tell me who were the characters in this book? What do you think of the story on that scale one to 10? And then we're gonna, I'm gonna take that data and decide if I'm going to do this novel as our reading for the rest of the year, or if I'd like to do a possible book club that would be optional. So I haven't made a decision yet. I want your feedback before I decide. And I believe that reading the first three chapters will give us really good idea of is this interesting and if you decide yes i want to read it and we do go to a book club the idea would be that after our check-ins on wednesdays after that half an hour i would just stay on and have just a book chat 
So we would be checking in every week with the novel. So one way or the other, either you're going to do it as an option to finish the book because it's read in sixth grade, or you're going to be assigned the book uh, weekly with readings. Or maybe we might even look at this and say, you know, I'm not really interested in the text at all. So I just need your feedback. I'm not going to make any decisions till we reach next week, Monday. And I want you to really enjoy it. I love the book. What's nice is throughout the, the story, Mrs. Devlin went ahead and at the beginning of pretty much every chapter, I'm just going and skimming through the audios there. And I kind of tried to tell you how long it would take to listen to it if you didn't want to read it silently. Our main character is a boy. So it's very high intensity and full of activity. Sometimes you'll notice that the audio is two chapters of five and six, and it's only 14 minutes long. And then throughout it, I will be, you know, putting in pictures for you. And sometimes I'll have a, a video for you to watch. And in chapter eight, Mrs. Enright, who is another teacher in Spain, uh, I thought she did a really great job reading it to her students. So I had her audio for eight. And then the book continues with nine, the audio, 13 minutes. And then, of course, um, since you know that the book is going to be um, about a boy named Peak. And one of the things that he has to do is try to climb Mount Everest. I included some facts here about Mount Everest that would be interesting. And these are extra little videos for you. So I hope that helps explain this novel challenge. I'm not making a decision until I get some information from you this week about what do you think of the novel. And then we'll decide, are we going to tackle it as a whole class or am I going to give you the option to read it if you would like and join me for a book club? So Mrs. Devlin signing out. Enjoy the first three chapters of Peak this week. And I can't wait to see what you think of this particular book. Take care. Bye.